Hi class, this is your instructor, Skylar Ha. I'm glad you're watching this video. During this video, I will show you how to find the current event appropriately. Thereafter, you find the current event, I will also show you how to correctly cite the current event. And then upon that, just please don't forget to correctly upload your current event to Canvas via the correct course. So just log into your course, and upon logging into your course, click Modules, and then scroll down and click the appropriate current event. Be it current event 1, 2, 3, or 4. Let's jump right on in. So as you can see, I'm at the Coastal Alabama Community College website, and upon arriving there, what you all should do is go navigate to the left, and where it says student login, please click. Upon getting here, you should scroll down, and upon scrolling down, you should then navigate to Canvas. Once you arrive there, you should log in. Upon logging in, you all will see a list of your courses. Once you do get logged in and see those courses, you should select your Library Services course. I'll select that now. As Library Services, the course loads, you all should scroll down. Once you scroll down, for Biology 1, Principles of Biology 1, that is, Bio 103, you should navigate to the album of virtual library. The same could be said about Biology 2, Principles of Biology 2. If in fact you're taking Biology 201, which would be Human Anatomy and Physiology 1, or Biology 202, which would be Human Anatomy and Physiology 2, you would navigate to CINAHL, using CINAHL database with full text. Once you all arrive at the Alabama Virtual Library, you should then click College and University. Once you arrive to College and University, please scroll down. Upon turning down, please click EBSCO Host. Once the page is loaded, scroll down and type in American Scientist. You may then scroll up. And I'll now enter in protein. Click search. Once you arrive, I'll now say that you have 111 total results as indicated by search results. And being that I'm made it here, let's see if I can find a pretty interesting article here on proteins. I'll choose can skinny fat beat obesity. So what I'll do now is I'll just click on the article here. And once you're here, you have an overview of the article. Since you cannot see the article yet, and you only have this small abstract shown here, to the left, I will click where it says PDF full text. Once the article has loaded, you can see everything that is included in the article. And of course, I recommend, if you'd like, go ahead and download the article. So if, in fact, you cannot read the article, and of course, write your one paragraph summary at the very moment. You can download the article or even email the article to yourself. So to download the article, you can simply click the little download button located here. And if you needed to email this article to yourself, you can click the email button here. So to help you all out, what we'll next do is cite the article. So here it says cite. I'll now click cite. Once that page is loaded, and then it loads at the top of the screen here, you can now see a number of different formats for citation. In this class, in our classes, we'll use APA, the American Psychological Association. So what you all can now do is highlight that citation and simply copy that citation so it can be pasted into your Word document or paste into your word processor. From here, upon typing your one paragraph summary, what you should then do is navigate back to the appropriate course. I am still in library services, so navigate back to the appropriate course. Upon getting back to your appropriate course, please click Modules. Once you arrive back at Modules, please scroll down Click the appropriate current event. Once you arrive there, you can read about the current event. 
That way you know what the assignment requires at what is required. And then you can scroll down. Upon scrolling down, you can then upload your current event.